Hey everybody, Brian Von Vier here, back at it again with another set of D&D stories. Today, we're going to be talking about what are some of the best out-of-context quotes from your campaigns. So, I've only known you guys for like 20 minutes, but I'm supposed to put this in my mouth? You have disadvantage. You're trying to identify an unknown magical item within six seconds in the middle of combat. Uh, but I'm really smart. I have better things to do than to watch the rise and fall of the chest of a simple human. Uh, <laughs> I thought we had something special. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah, that's what wounds are. Uh, I have to deal with one of you with annoying perception. I have a 24 if that's what you mean. Yes. There is character one to another character nonchalantly. I don't think this is one of your dead friends. Good job, Hadari. You found another toilet. Well, at least this one isn't trying to bite my ass. <laughs> Yet. They do show them sometimes along Hadari shooting things. Pigs, wolves, nobles, and sometimes owlbears. Do we have enough duct tape to tape me to the front of the bus? Uh, I don't think you want to take 6d6 splat damage from ramming the gate. I can soak it. Ooh, 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 the dirtiness. <laughs> Are you going to be able to save that pile of scrap jewels? I mean, there's not much of her insides on the inside, if you catch what I'm saying. Yeah, I catch what you're saying. And I would remind you that insides can be stuffed back inside. Haven't you been to Build-A-Bear? <laughs> Build-A-Bear? Isn't that a ripper dock on the south side? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I finally have a good roll to hit one of you guys. No, no. Take five IP for pissing off the DM! All right, Delia already beat off Darien and Killian beat off Bean. I'm going to beat off Othis. Wait, what? <laughs> Hello there. I've come upon you. Oh, please don't. I don't consent. I'll take advantage of Dante. No, no, not like that. Virgil. If anyone is scrying this room, I had nothing to do with it. I'm not their mother. You're not even old enough to be anyone's mother. Exactly! If anyone's scrying this room... Thanks! You know what? Hold on. I need to check this. Let me, uh, look at my bag real here. Uh, uh, nope, I, I didn't bring any f**ks today. Except for you assholes. <laughs> I'm gonna make a phone call. If shooting starts, I don't care. But somebody better die from it. <laughs> this doesn't concern you. It's my character! Exactly! Now shut up while the DM and I plan on how we're going to kill them! I have a really high computer science. I have a bachelor's degree in real life. Let me tell you what you would know! Action Surge! Leg Day! Every day is arm day, Dumbledore. I'll take full half damage. We're more alike than you think. If you say so. I'm Chaos, you're Law! Those are co completely different things! All right, Torxina, are you ready to ride the Dante Express? Entire check goes silent for 10 seconds. Um, that's not a, mm, oh boy, uh, that did not come out right at all, did it? No, it did not. No, neither did the Dante Express. <laughs> Dang, looks like I need to go milk a drider. Terrifying spider noises. My descendant is a mage. I'm gonna teach him how to be a real man! Falls through pass wall and floor. And how did that go for you? I know how this spell works because I tested it on a dead squirrel! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, time to interrogate the corpse, everybody. Uh, that sounds much weirder when I say it out loud. Why is your head upside down? More importantly, why is your hair disapproving Newton's teachings? You successfully pick bugs out of your daughter. Now there's a pile of dead bugs on the floor. Blech. What is important to flesh? Now I have two gods in snow globes! Christmas is gonna get real wacky this year. Wait, why do I have two weapon fighting? Well, I'm gonna scratch him. Rolls of four. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Uh, what's Creole? Like me, but in your mouth. Oh god, that just took a twist. How many bullets can I make? And do I have a bag of crabs? That particular tentacle. I say fuck it. Wait, fuck it or fuck it? I rolled a 69 for the tentacles. Got that question answered. 
I can choose to have a layer of oil. Oh, we're getting in some weird territory now. From your perspective, put me to right behind it. Oh, God, this is like a soap opera. What the hell? I'm going to put you in a hamster ball. Uh, what? It's a hamster ball or death. If it had used any other attack, I would not have been able to aim for the mouth. Ooh. It is inside. There is no save. There's no fingers in this. Uh, where's our freezer, bro? I am the freezer. Ooh, ooh. The slime unlocked the booty call, baby. Ooh, ooh. He's a battle droid. I never gave him the programming to retreat. That would have made him a retreater droid. I don't need them. We're at port. You always need fire resistance around me. Uh, Carlac, is that you? Oh, Carlac, mommy, please. The bartender is either asking for a bribe or hitting on you. It's a 50-50. And this is all thanks to the information from a half-elf twink. Welcome back to Advice with a Twink. <laughs> You're not useless, just ask all the bodies! Okay, hold on. Let me roll the damage all of them will take. But only the Minotaur Husk is gonna get hit by the fireball. Uh, yeah, about that. Roll perception? <laughs> oh, you're screwed now, buddy. You failed to address the elephant in the room. Toot. Only I could call my skin falling off an inconvenience. The f did you do to Hello World? Godric is an idiot servant. We can work around that. You can't just drop, I have a wife now, on us. I got hit by a car, and it was a draw. Humans are my resource. His extra arms are class features. Hmm, I don't have a list of slurs for cats. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You actually made bread to the power of negative one. Ooh, it's like a black hole of bread. Roll an intelligence saving throw. Well, fuck. This is not about protecting you from the item. This is about protecting the item from you. My edge could kill a frog. Have you ever seen The Exorcist? This ain't that movie. This is The Exorcist Reloaded. Load shotgun with clerical intent. I give people PTSD. So does my wife and my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I just gave a baby dragon meth, and the mother thanked me for it. That was his only belt. Prepare to be railroaded. Ho, 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 ho. Why did you steal his nipple rings? No, little goblin. I don't think the hag is leaking oil. We don't find funerals. We make funerals. Tweak, tweak, nipple, nipple, thatcher. You have a nice butt. I, I, I mean, you are beautiful. Hey, look, sometimes a girl has a nice butt. The orc does not have nipple rings, George. And seriously, stop it. It's creepy. No, Edward. The flesh is weak. It may be weak, but it's getting really hard right now. I can only take eight men at once. Ah, uh, tragic. Get good, scrum. Don't one of your magic folks have that barmaid molesting hand? My character wild-shaped into a bird, and she had been pecking at a guard because she didn't like them. Then my character's wife got angry at the guard when they said, Get your bird under control. She responded with, Hey, I happen to be married to this bird. I have pain in organs I didn't know I had. Ugh. Congratulations! 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 You have successfully made Dwarven Jam. All right, laddie. I <coughs> you tell the cursed chest you're going to kick its ass? Hey, if you don't open up and give me your treasure, you're dead meat. Rotate the mech spider in your mind, William. Do it. Where is a chest's ass? Yes, the math works. Yes, I'm going to do it. Let me just uh, ready my next character sheet. <gasps> you hear that, Quinore? He brought soap. Whoa. Stop. Eating the mimics. Nice holes you got there! Stop trying to steal the doors. So, first up in the initiative is the large intestine. Oh, God, mine just rumbled. This door just insulted me in binary. I'm just waiting for Fighter to turn into Florida Woman and do something like wrestle a gator. Uh, but I already did. 
You want to climb the tree to eat the bird that shat on your gear? Uh, cat girl abortion rights? I cast prescription. Take a door, leave a door. Rolls nat one on a wisdom save. Uh, what are you doing, Step Aboleth? Roll for emotional damage. The Aboleth's gonna give you a lot more than that. Do any of you have any sense? Uh, well, I have some pocket change. I want to seduce the ringmaster. He is so terrified by your expression that he immediately has you removed by his security. I'd like to throw the Shia LaBeouf into a tree. Shia LaBeouf. Ah. I attack the Snape. How dare you? You are the aware wolf. That's seven damage. No, it's seven damage. No, wait. It's, uh, yeah, seven damage. Oh, yeah. You're about to see why they call me the Luxsmith. Because I am about to bust open your mimic ass. The cream rises to the top. <laughs> I promise I'll never touch you in that area again. Why not? I want to be. So after the fight with the mimic, you grab the wand. Yes. As you grab the wand, you feel it attached to your arm. Roll for initiative. Shit. I hope they don't wonder why there's a dead guy on the roof. Santa, how'd you get up there? I can help you get a good night's sleep. Ooh, okay. What's a good name for a cultist? Frank! So we hear metal music being played on panpipes coming from the fighter's backpack. So now I have a talking ballista on my back? Cool! Ah, I just don't start a cult or anything, you hear me? No cults. Nothing. None. Not a zero. Nothing cultish. Cult activity, period. Got it? No cults. I don't always get to choose because sometimes Chuckles f***s me over. <laughs> I'm lawful good, but I've had to deal with the evil ranger for a while. Asaius, what are you doing? Incubating the egg. My backpack is not a nest. No, you cannot name your new character Sir Fluckington Dickswashler. <laughs> it's too much like your last character's name, and the orc tribe you stole that religious artifact from would definitely find that suspicious. I get sneak attack with the baguette. I got 25 damage with the baguette. Wait, ho ho holy shit. Okay, everyone, we're retconning that last turn. I didn't know this was a d20. I'm glad we didn't need the DM to intervene due to illegal eyebrow moves. You throw your staff like a javelin and strike the child right between the shoulders. You guys handled that like sane, rational adults. The only thing I didn't plan for. No, that's fine. I didn't want to do that plot anyway. You know, it's all right. Just gonna, I'm just gonna go over there and cry a little bit. You swing the paladin by the feet so hard. You invent goblin golf. Ooh. Wait, you're a life domain cleric? I thought you were war domain. Yeah, life domain. Oh God, what have I done? Context, apparently the big bad evil guy takes damage from being healed and the damage it takes is doubled. I had life transference and beacon of hope, meaning I could deal 5d8 times two times two. And beacon of hope makes you roll max healing, meaning every round I was dealing 160 damage to it guaranteed. Now, normally the script guy actually removes all context from these because it's supposed to be without context, but he left this one in solely to point out something incorrect in this statement. Life transference doesn't work with Beacon of Hope that way because the healing from life transference is dependent on how much damage is dealt. Beacon of Hope doesn't maximize the damage dealt and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Since the healing of life transference is based on how much damage you take, your target is already getting the maximum healing possible from life transference. You take 4d8 necrotic damage, which can't be reduced in any way, and one creature of your choice that you can see within range regains a number of hit points equal to twice the necrotic damage you take. Beacon of Hope doesn't apply to all. Here at Mr. Ripper, we try to be educational at least some of the time. Hey everybody, Brian Von Vier back at it again checking in after the vid. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell, and of course, have a very happy and very safe Friday the 13th. We love you all. Please be safe, be happy, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.